We use a multifunction joystick on these machines. For propelling the machine, there's a switch on the back side of the stick that must be depressed whenever propelling forward or rearward to get the machine out of neutral. That switch must be depressed. And the buttons on the stick control the most commonly used rotor functions. On the back of the stick, we have the front rotor chamber door up and down. The yellow buttons control the height of the rotor or the depth of your cut, rotor up or rotor down. These black buttons control the rear door of the chamber up and down. In between these two buttons is a soft rubber button and, and this controls the rear door float function. By pressing this button, the rear door is put into float mode and down pressure can be adjusted on this display to apply pressure to that rear door. These colored buttons on the front are the exit cut and return to cut features. When the operator has the machine working at the desired depth, two taps of the green button will save that depth and it's signified by this square box around the rotor depth. So when the operator reaches the end of the cut, one touch of the blue exit cut button will raise the rotor so that the operator can close the doors and fill the hole that's made at the end of the cut. And one more touch of the blue button then will raise the machine to full transport height so the machine can be maneuvered for the next cut. Once in position for the next cut, simply push and hold the green button and the machine will return to the cutting depth that was previously saved.